In the vast expanse of space-time, there exist enigmatic points known as singularities. These are regions where the laws of physics as we know them break down and our understanding of the universe is put to the test. These mind-boggling phenomena are, without a doubt, one of the most intriguing enigmas in our understanding of the universe. To put it simply, a singularity is a point in space where the density becomes infinite and the laws of physics, as we know them, cease to apply. Imagine packing an infinite amount of matter into an infinitely small space. That's a singularity for you, defying our understanding of the universe and breaking the rules of physics we've come to accept. Now where do we find these singularities? Well, they are believed to exist at the very heart of black holes. These cosmic behemoths, black holes, are regions of space-time exhibiting such strong gravitational effects that nothing, not even particles and electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from inside them. And at the center of these black holes, hidden from our view, lies the singularity, an infinitely dense, infinitesimally small point. But black holes aren't the only place where we encounter singularities. According to the Big Bang Theory, our universe itself was born out of a singularity. Yes, you heard it right. About 13.8 billion years ago, all the matter in the universe was compressed into a singularity, which then exploded in the event we call the Big Bang, giving birth to the universe as we know it. So, singularities, these infinitesimally small, infinitely dense points, serve as the heart of black holes and the birthplace of our universe. They challenge our understanding of physics, force us to question our knowledge, and yet, they're crucial to our understanding of the cosmos. As we peel back the layers of this enigma, who knows what new discoveries await us in the vastness of the cosmos? Imagine a place where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. That's a black hole, and at its heart lies a singularity. A black hole, as we've come to understand, is a region of space where matter has collapsed in on itself. This collapse has created a gravitational pull so vast, so all-encompassing, that it engulfs everything in its vicinity. And we mean everything. Stars, planets, cosmic dust, and yes, even light. This voracious appetite is what gives a black hole its name. It's a literal hole in the fabric of the universe, a void from which nothing can escape. Now we've spoken about the relationship between black holes and singularities, but there's another concept that ties these two together, the event horizon. Picture this. You're an astronaut floating in space and you see a black hole in the distance. As you get closer, there's a point beyond which you can't return. A point where the gravitational pull becomes too strong for you to resist. This point is known as the event horizon. The event horizon is essentially the boundary of the black hole. Anything that crosses this boundary is doomed to fall into the black hole, never to be seen or heard from again. But what's truly fascinating about the event horizon is that from the outside, it appears as a sphere of perfect blackness. It's the ultimate cosmic abyss. Inside the event horizon, things get even stranger. As you fall towards the singularity, you would experience what's known as spaghettification. This is a real scientific term, by the way. It refers to the way objects are stretched and distorted by the immense gravitational pull of the singularity. So why are we so fascinated by black holes and singularities? They represent the extremes of our universe. They push our understanding of physics to its limits and beyond. They're like a cosmic laboratory, allowing us to test our theories and hypotheses in the most extreme conditions imaginable. But there's something else that makes black holes and singularities so intriguing. They're a testament to the incredible power and complexity of the universe we live in. They remind us that there are still mysteries out there waiting to be solved, secrets waiting to be unlocked. And perhaps, just perhaps, studying black holes and singularities might one day help us to unravel the greatest mystery of all the nature of the universe itself. They're the ultimate cosmic riddles, the ultimate test of our understanding of the universe. And as we continue to probe their mysteries, who knows what incredible revelations await us in the heart of these cosmic enigmas. Our universe began with a bang, a big bang, but did you know that at the heart of this explosion was a singularity? Now to understand what this means, let's take a step back and talk about the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing cosmological model that describes the birth of our universe. It's a monumental theory that has reshaped our understanding of the cosmos, proposing that the universe we inhabit today was once compressed into a state of unimaginable density and heat, a state we refer to as the initial singularity. This singularity, ladies and gentlemen, 
is where our story begins. Picture a point in space-time, smaller than a subatomic particle, yet containing all the mass and energy of the entire universe. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of reality, as it defies the laws of physics as we know them. The temperatures and densities are so extreme, so mind-bogglingly vast, that our current understanding of physics simply breaks down. But here's where things get interesting. This singularity didn't remain in this state. Instead, it began to expand. And as it expanded, it cooled. This is a crucial part of the Big Bang Theory. This expansion and cooling allowed the extreme conditions within the singularity to ease, giving rise to the fundamental forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. Now imagine the singularity continuing to expand, continuing to cool. As it does so, the intense energy within it begins to transform into particles and antiparticles. These particles and antiparticles would then annihilate each other, releasing energy in the form of light. As the universe continued to expand and cool, the light was finally able to escape, filling the universe with a glow that we can still detect today. This glow, known as the cosmic microwave background, is a relic of our universe's fiery birth, a whisper from the dawn of time that offers us a glimpse into the conditions of the early universe. The universe didn't stop there though, as it continued to expand and cool, particles began to come together, forming atoms, then molecules, then dust, then stars, galaxies, planets, and eventually, life as we know it. All of this from a single point of infinite density and temperature. How did such a singularity come to be? How did something so incredibly dense and hot give rise to the universe we see today? These are questions that scientists are still grappling with. The Big Bang Theory gives us a framework to understand the evolution of the universe from a fraction of a second after its birth. But the actual moment of creation, the actual nature of the singularity, remains a mystery. It's a puzzle that we're still trying to piece together, an enigma that continues to captivate scientists around the world. We've come a long way in our understanding of the cosmos, but the journey is far from over. The singularity that sparked the Big Bang that ignited the creation of our universe is a testament to the complexity and wonder of the cosmos. It's a reminder of how much we've learned and how much we've yet to discover. From this primeval singularity, our vast and complex universe was born. A universe teeming with galaxies, stars, planets, and life. A universe filled with mysteries and wonders beyond our wildest dreams. All sparked by a single point, a singularity at the heart of the Big Bang. Singularities, as we've seen, are crucial to our understanding of the universe, but they also present a paradox. In the world of theoretical physics, paradoxes are not just puzzles to be solved, but doorways to deeper understanding. And singularities, my friends, are one of the most perplexing paradoxes we've come across. So what's this paradox we're talking about? Well, it's simple and complex at the same time. You see, singularities, like those at the heart of black holes or at the very beginning of the universe, represent points where our understanding of physics, our rules for how the universe operates, just break down. They're like the universe's unruly children, refusing to play by the rules. At these singularities, quantities that we usually measure, like density, temperature, and curvature of space-time, reach infinity. Now, infinity is a tricky concept. We use it in mathematics all the time, but in the physical world, it's a sign that our theories are failing us. That's like saying you've reached the end of the universe. It's a concept that defies our understanding. This is where the paradox lies. Our best theories of physics, general relativity and quantum mechanics, which have been tested and proven accurate in countless experiments, fail to describe what happens at a singularity. General relativity predicts them but cannot explain what happens within them. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, with its uncertainty principle, argues against the existence of singularities where everything would be precisely defined. So, we're left with a conundrum. Two of our most successful theories in physics are at odds with each other when it comes to singularities. That's like having two reliable friends giving you completely different accounts of the same event. Who do you believe? This is where the concept of quantum gravity enters the picture. Quantum gravity is the holy grail of theoretical physics, a theory that could reconcile the paradox of singularities. It aims to combine the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics into one unified theory. In this theory, the effects of quantum mechanics would smooth out the singularity, removing the infinities and making it possible to describe these strange points in space-time. But we're not there yet. Despite decades of work, a complete theory of quantum gravity remains elusive. 
There are promising leads such as string theory and loop quantum gravity, but none have been fully proven or accepted by the scientific community. It's like we're on the verge of solving a great mystery. But the final piece of the puzzle remains just out of reach. And so, we stand at the precipice of understanding, gazing into the abyss of singularities. These puzzling points in space-time, where our understanding of the universe breaks down, are not just problems to be solved. They are invitations to expand our knowledge, to push the boundaries of what we know about the universe. Singularities, then, represent the frontier of our understanding, a challenge to our theories and our imagination. They are the paradox that drives us forward, pushing us to refine our theories, to seek out new knowledge, and to venture into the unknown. The paradox of singularities is not just a problem to be solved, but a beacon guiding us to the next frontier of human understanding. Given their paradoxical nature, what does the future hold for our understanding of singularities? This question takes us on a fascinating journey into the realm of the unknown, where theory and observation meet to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The future of singularity research is as intriguing as the singularities themselves. It's a multidisciplinary effort that involves theoretical physics, observational astronomy, and the search for the elusive quantum gravity. Each of these fields holds a piece of the puzzle, and together they might just help us make sense of these perplexing points in space-time. Theoretical physicists are hard at work, pushing the boundaries of our understanding. They're developing new mathematical models and simulations to predict the behavior of singularities and to explore the unknown territories they might reveal. There are best tools for predicting the behavior of the universe at the extremes of scale and density, where our everyday intuitions fail us. One of the most promising areas of research is string theory, a theoretical framework that describes the fundamental particles and forces of the universe in terms of tiny, vibrating strings. This theory has the potential to reconcile the seeming contradictions between quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two pillars of modern physics that govern the behavior of the very small and the very large, respectively. If successful, string theory could provide a unified description of the universe that includes singularities. On the observational side, astronomers are using the most powerful telescopes and detectors to study the extreme environments around black holes, where singularities are believed to reside. They're looking for signs of phenomena predicted by the theoretical models, such as the bending of light by intense gravitational fields, or the release of energy from matter falling into a black hole. Each observation brings us one step closer to confirming or refuting our theories, and to understanding the nature of singularities. The search for quantum gravity is another exciting frontier in singularity research. Quantum gravity is a theoretical framework that seeks to describe gravity on the smallest scales, where quantum effects become important. It's a challenging task, as gravity is the weakest of the fundamental forces, and its quantum effects are extremely subtle. However, if we can succeed in formulating a theory of quantum gravity, it could provide the key to understanding singularities, where the effects of gravity and quantum mechanics come together in a dramatic way. The potential implications of this research are profound. If we can understand singularities, we could gain new insights into the nature of space and time, the origins and fate of the universe, and the fundamental laws that govern everything. We could learn whether our universe is just one of many in a multiverse, whether there are hidden dimensions of space and how to harness the power of black holes. The possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. As we grapple with these questions, it's important to remember that science is a process, a journey of discovery. It's not about having all the answers, but about asking the right questions and being willing to follow where they lead. The path to understanding singularities is likely to be long and winding, full of unexpected twists and turns. But that's what makes it so exciting. And who knows, just as the study of black holes has led to breakthroughs in areas as diverse as particle physics and computer science, the study of singularities could lead to discoveries and applications we can't even imagine today. So as we look to the future of singularity research, we can't help but be filled with anticipation and a sense of wonder. We're standing on the edge of the known universe, looking out into the unknown. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of singularities, who knows what revelations await us? Let's keep exploring, keep asking, keep learning. Because in the quest for knowledge, the journey is just as important as the destination. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, Singularities remain one of the most intriguing and enigmatic phenomena we encounter. They challenge us, perplex us, and remind us that there is always more to learn.